Well, good morning. Welcome to The Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the Chaplaincy for the Homeless and the FSBC in Glendale. It's Saturday. The weekend is here. But the gospel goes on. The word of God, even on a holiday weekend, goes forth. And we are here this morning to open up the pages of the word of God. We are to be encouraged this morning. We are to be lifted up. As we spend our three-day weekend, don't hesitate to lift him up and to give thanks for all that he does for you and for me each and every day. I want to focus today from the book of Acts. Because you see in 2022, one of the main things that we may have forgotten as Christians in the church is the winning formula. What it takes to be a successful Christian and a successful church in modern times. Let me say, first of all, it is not conforming to the culture. Conforming to the culture is a recipe for failure. When we want to know what it takes in a society to succeed in preaching and teaching God's word, even amidst 2022, you know, 2022 is no different than AD 33, just different folks in different places, but the gospel remains the same. 2022 is the same as 33 AD. We must latch on to the very principles that we have been given in the word of God that make us successful, that build the church and build our spiritual character and build our spiritual morality and values. We say, what is that, brother? Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 19 Three verses, 17 through 21. This is the gospel in Ephesus. When the gospel came to Ephesus, I want you to see the power of following God's formula. The same formula works today. That formula is revealed in these passages. If a church wants to be successful, here's what they have to do. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Underline and highlight verse 17. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And when they were magnified, verse 18 says, and many that believed, came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also, which use curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So the word grew mightily. The word mightily grew and prevailed. Two verses, verse 17 and verse 20, give the Christian in 2022 the recipe for success, the ingredients that it takes to build the church, to spread the gospel, and for the world to know the power of God. Number one, verse 17, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ was magnified. And number two, when that was done, people's lives changed, their hearts changed. They put their money where their mouth was and got rid of those things that separated them or kept them from a relationship with God. They did not take the gospel into Ephesus and conform to the culture. They did not take the gospel into Ephesus and just go along to get along. They went into Ephesus and they told the truth by focusing 
on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when that happened, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. My friends, the secret is in the sauce. If we want to win the world, if we want to let the world know about the gospel being the power of God and the salvation, Romans 1.16, then there are some things that we must do because we have made errors in modern times in the presentation of this word. And because we've allowed the devil to have the upper hand and to have his false ministers and false teachers and false preachers get all the prominence, it has turned a sour taste up in the mouths of those who are looking for salvation. We've got to turn that trend around. But the only way to turn that trend around is verse 17. Magnify, magnify, magnify the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What does this mean? It means that we need to go back to the Bible. We need to allow the Bible to make us better and to steer us into truth. Not the culture, not personalities, but God. But God direct us and lead us and guide us. And the emphasis needs to be off religious personalities. There is far too much emphasis on what John says, who's written 12 books or 15 books. What Billy says and the fact that he preached the gospel for over 50 years or what Kenny says, who lives in a mansion worth over $7 million. My friends, I am telling you that if we are to make a powerful impact on the gospel in 2022, we must take the emphasis off religious personalities. It's not about the name of the person standing in your church. It's about magnifying the very name of Jesus Christ. The power of the gospel happens in the lives of people and causes the change to occur when we magnify the name of Jesus Christ. We take the emphasis off of religious personalities. We take the emphasis off of mega churches and rock star religious networks. My friends, when we take the focus and the emphasis off of rock star religious personalities and networks, mega churches and religious personalities, my friends, and we put the emphasis back on Jesus, we will see a definite change. People will see our light. They will understand our soul. They will respond to the gospel of Jesus because people will see that it's truly about God and not about some man or some religious network. The emphasis must be off the works of men. The focus must be on Jesus Christ. The focus must be on the gospel. When they went into Ephesus, they preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. They didn't talk about Paul. They didn't talk about Moses. They talked about Jesus Christ. The Bible says when the name of Jesus was magnified, many believed, many came, many established a relationship with Jesus. They threw out their books and they said, we want to follow God, my friends. That can be a repeat in 2022 if we change our focus. Take it off of men, take it off the works of men, take it off of personalities and put it back where it belongs on Jesus Christ as the only name under heaven whereby we can be saved, Acts 4 and chapter 4 and verse 12. Back on Jesus Christ, John 14, 6, that says he is the way, the only way, the truth, and the life, that no man comes to the Father except by him. You can't be saved through a religious network. You can't be saved 
through a religious personality. You can't be saved through the works of men or a mega church. You can only be saved when the focus is on magnifying the name of Jesus Christ, whom God sent to die for the sins of the world. Mega preachers haven't died for the sins of the world. Religious personalities haven't died for the sins of the world. The works of men cannot save any of us. Religious networks haven't died for the sins of the world. Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world, and it is his name that we should be uplifting, and it is his name should be the ultimate, complete, absolute focus, the only name in heaven whereby man can be saved. The focus must return to Jesus Christ. The focus must return to the gospel being God's power under salvation. My friends, when this name was magnified in Acts 19, those people changed their lives. They could see the light. They could see the salt. They can see the power of Jesus Christ. My friends, today in 2021, we can do the same thing if we take the focus off of ourselves and the focus off of our churches and the focus off of personalities and the focus off of religious networks and TV shows and put it back on Jesus Christ. Put it back on Jesus Christ. It's not about making a name for ourselves. The morning touch doesn't exist for Chaplain Darwin or Pastor Darwin to make a name for himself. I could care less about my name. I care about magnifying the name of Jesus Christ because I know if I magnify the name of Jesus Christ, people will look up like they did in Ephesus. People will respond like they did in Ephesus. People will change their lives like they did in Ephesus. And people will establish a true relationship with God like the people did in Ephesus in Acts chapter 19, verses 17 through 20, my friends. So the focus today is to go back to the basics and the fundamentals and magnify the name of Jesus Christ. Let Jesus stand alone. Stand alone separate from personalities, separate from religious rock star networks, separate from mega churches, separate from the works of men. Let Jesus stand alone. For when he stands alone, the Bible says, many believe. When the name of Jesus Christ is, is magnified, the Bible says, many believe, verse 18. And the word of the Lord grew mightily. We have got to step back and put Jesus up front and when we magnify his name and the world sees his power, they will come and ask, what must I do to be saved? And the word of the Lord will grow as mightily as it did in the book of Acts. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the Chapters for the Homeless and the FSBC in Glendale. Today, this weekend, I want you to refocus that formula. Do an adjustment. Create an atmosphere for success in your church, in your community. Be that salt and be that light, but let the world see Jesus in you. Magnify the name of Jesus Christ and stand back and watch what happens. When he is magnified, the Bible says many will repent. When he is magnified, many will believe. When he is magnified, many will change. And my friends, change is what the world needs. Change is what this nation needs. Change is what our state needs. Change is what our community needs. And the only way to change it is to magnify the name of Jesus. I hope, trust, and pray this has been an encouragement to you. Go forth and have a great weekend. Whatever you do, magnify the name of Jesus Christ that men may see. You see Jesus and glorify the name of God. Matthew 5, 16. God bless you. God keep you. See you again next time on The Morning Touch. God bless you.